Ah! <laughs> well, um, I don't know where this is going anymore. When was the last time we made a video? No, like a month ago? Was it? I'm talking to you. Oh, uh, so could be. Yeah, right? Because that was before I went to Berlin. So this is what a month and a half cucumber looks like. I'm pretty happy with it, right? It, it gave us a lot of cucumbers. Today we're gonna take out some, but we already did some, uh, how many, four before? Three before. Mm -hmm. This one also did pretty good, but it's already past its time. We already ate a lot of this one, Sancho. They were so tiny before, remember? Yeah. The spinach could have grown bigger. Mama, mama, we're gonna take it out today. And the carrot I accidentally killed. Well, accidentally? On purpose, <laughs> a little bit. Because, yeah, I just forgot to separate the strong ones before and then, long story short, they died. <laughs> 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 just fighting for resources. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the same one? No, no. Mm -hmm. Or should we start plugging out this one? Huh, not much roots. Look very tiny, but I feel we can just still eat these leaves and it's gonna be fine. For like cooking one meal, maybe it's okay. <laughs> like two months waiting for one meal. I don't know if it's good business, but that was fun to see them grow. I feel we just, uh, it got too warm, right? We could have planted them earlier, next time. This is so cute though. <laughs> this carrot. Do you think we could still eat this? I think if, if we would have done it earlier, this like pruning the weak one, it would have been okay. We were just too late. Leave us a comment if you know what could have been done with the carrots. <laughs> Take out the cucumber. <laughs> wow, two more. Really? This I didn't know. At least the cucumber was very successful. There were like three more already that were bigger than this one. So. But I think this is a better size for pickling. Nice. Ah! <laughs> yeah, they were already so good. <laughs> oh. oh wow. So pick up the carrot that the ants planted. Ah. So we realized that I think the ants stole some of the seeds 
And then they planted, this, this was the nest before the, the mm. colony, right? Mm. And took some ants there. This is not... <laughs> but this is... Oh. No, it's not bad. For being a feral one. <laughs> so funny, this tiny hole. <laughs> Anyways, this is the ant's carrot. Kind of looks better than our carrots. Mm -hmm. Oh well. <laughs> and this one's looking great still. But yeah, the, the leaves were starting to get very small. more roots than all the other ones. Wow, there's roots everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Oh, let's see. This might end up killing the cucumber. But new life will come from the ashes of the cucumber. And then I'm now. It's soybeans, right? Mm -hmm. This is pretty much what we will eat, right? Right, yeah. It looks yeah. very different from what you end up eating. Score. Okay. It's nice. It looks like a lot, but when it's boiled, it's gonna be like nothing, right? Mm. Yeah. And with the cucumbers, this. We're gonna turn into this. We just pickle them Japanese way. Kantan soup. Yes. Uh, we're not sponsored by Kantan soup. Oh. Actually, we we're supposed to put this on ice, but oh well. This is what months of growing spinach looks like <laughs> just a bite <laughs> the more worth it no? mm. garlic a little bit of olive oil and salt Mm. Oh man! Mm, nice! Yeah, it's very little. <laughs> you know? Mmm. Oh, I see. So why? So why, so why, so why? Okay. So, good morning. I. I hope this is working. I got a new microphone and also a new camera. Which I hope you can tell uh, the quality is better now. Especially the sound was bothering me a lot. So that was an important purchase. Uh, it's been a while since I made one of these vlog, uh, studio vlogs. Um, there's just been a lot going on. I had to go to Berlin for a conference and an exhibition that I had there. It was really nice. Uh, I had a great time there and it was uh, actually like a, a long time dream that I had to be a, a speaker in that conference. It was called Pictoplasma. Um, and it was also the first time exhibiting my work in Berlin, which was also kind of strange <laughs> in a way, because I lived there for so long, but I never really had the chance to like show it in person. So that was nice. 
But now, it's been a few weeks since I came back to Japan. It's pretty much uh, summer now. Look at that sun. Oh, and I can do zoom now. That's pretty great. Anyways, it's been quite busy too um, because I been I have a couple exhibitions coming up this year. Later this year, I can show you some of the stuff I've been doing. There's one exhibition happening in the U.S. in Chicago, and I'm gonna send these two smaller drawings. We already got them framed. They're looking pretty nice, I think. The same people that sell us materials here. Uh, they're also a frame shop, so they did it for us. And these are made with crayons and acrylics. They're all pretty well packed now. I still have to photograph them. And I've been making a lot of these like, smaller drawings too. Some didn't work out so well. This one I didn't like too much. This one is okay. The other thing that I've been doing... There's another exhibition coming in August, I think, also. And uh, this one's in Australia. But I've been making these like smaller paintings um, just for that. I have to choose two, so one needs to be out. So if you know in the comments, you can let me know which one I should leave out. They're also made with um, oil sticks. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to dry. The thing is these ones, for these ones, I used a different kind, um, like a newly released kind. These are the ones that I was using. Um, they sell them in smaller sizes now, which is pretty great because before I had to use these really thick ones. So making this kind of uh, pictures that are like in smaller formats, it was very, very difficult. That's why I was able to work on these smaller formats too. But this one still have the downside that it just takes forever to dry. So I'm still in the process of yeah, just going for techniques that don't require so much uh, like drying time. So I really want to start using more acrylics. Um, and recently I made another experiment. Well, actually these two experiments. This one was from the previous video. Um, maybe you saw that one. I was showing how, how I painted this one. The issue was that even though I like the technique, it just took so long. And it also, like, I don't know, it, it looked a bit uh, stiff, in my opinion. Um, so I wanted to have something that was also like very rough and expressive. And this is what I was doing last time too. This is only acrylics, and then I used a little bit of crayons for these like, uh, smaller bits, like the mouth and the nose and this star. What I really liked about this one was that it was still very expressive. The colors were very poppy and nice. And it also, it took me a really um, short time to make. Uh, and that's also what I wanted, because that's also what I like about this one. They're very quick and rough to make and very expressive. But this was only an experiment. So the next step is gonna be to try to replicate something like this into something like this big. I can show you better, like, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this is huge. This is my feet for reference. <laughs> and um, I think it's like 140 centimeters, the longest side. It's already primed, I already stretched it. However, today I'm gonna be painting on like a slightly smaller one, this one here. And then I'm gonna be using only acrylics and trying to get some similar feeling to what I had on the other one. This is already primed and ready to start with the clear gesso. So let's get on it. Uh, last time I was using a sketch that I made digitally. I can show you what I was doing. So I made this digitally enough time. And the last painting I was trying to get this, something like this. Um, I think this time I'm gonna try to get this one on the canvas. I'm not trying to get it 100% the same looking as it is on the digital version. That's not really possible, I think. But I wanna have some similar composition and maybe similar colors, so it does help to have this early sketch first. 
All right. Let's put in a wash first. I'm not sure how to do this. No. Wow, <laughs> very liquid. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this to seal the colors a bit. Have a little bit of a of a base under the colors that I can start building on. It's uh, quite warm outside, but thankfully the I get a lot of wind up here. As you can see, my hair moving maybe. Um, so it feels pretty fresh and actually this is really nice for painting because the, the paint dries really quickly. Put the base colors. For this ones, I also put a little bit of the um, retarder. So I think I mentioned on the previous video too, but what the retarder does is makes the acrylic dry very slowly, so you can actually blend them in very well, almost like oil painting, but not quite. Um, but definitely much better than regular acrylics. They dry really, really quickly. Okay, well, I think the eyes are the most difficult part. Also, the eyes is what really make the character in the end. Um, so I, I usually just, it's probably the part that I spend the most time usually. Um, I really wanna focus the attention in the eyes. So I really wanna make them shocking. Um, but I think that's gonna come later with the, when I put the shadow and the lights. Okay, I think I got the colors, the base colors. Um, I'm gonna put a layer of shadow, like a darker layer uh, to get the shadows on. But I first need to let this dry really well. Um, so in the meantime, I'm probably just gonna go down and wash my brushes. I'm using a lot of them. So this is the moment where it's always very scary because 
I'm gonna put the this thing uh, just a mix of water and very pigmented uh, color. Um, so I'm just gonna do a layer of that and it would either look really great or completely ruin it. So <laughs> let's see. Okay, I think it works. I managed to lower down the values. I already put a little bit of highlights to see if it could work or not. I think it would work. I just have to put the highlights again. But in general, the value is lower, so it's darker. Um, so that makes the highlights much stronger. Um, and then I'm gonna put, uh, like to define the shapes a little bit more. And that's what's really gonna bring it together. Um, but I still want to keep some of the looseness in here. This is also the hardest part because I always overdo it at this point. So let's keep it. Um, <laughs> I don't know where this is going anymore. Uh, I think I lost already the roughness of the beginning, but maybe still there's some, I don't know. I think I'm gonna end it for today. And then tomorrow when I have like a better idea what to do next, I'm gonna continue. 